So yesterday I was in two different places. In two different places, I had various degrees of being ignored uh, while I was patronizing their places. First one was in Safeway. Uh, I was trying to buy some salmon at the seafood counter and the guy had his back to me the entire time. And normally I wouldn't feel some type of way about it, except the fact that he turned around and then turned back to his, he turned around enough to see me and then turned back to his, whatever he was doing. And then his friend who was helping him went went like took some packages he was working on put them on display turned around like kind of saw me and then went back and started working with his friend I just like I don't I don't I don't understand this like I have I'm gonna I'm trying to buy something I'm not going away but I mean it would just be if you were like this is my thing if they were busy just say hey we'll be with you in a moment and I would be totally fine with that like, you don't have to be nice to me. That's ideal, but you don't have to be. But just at least just acknowledge and just explain. And then I will be at peace. Like, I know people can. I've worked in service industries. I used to be a waitress. I know people can be really annoying and aggressive. And I wasn't that. I just actually sat and I, I, I mean, I waited because um, I always give people the benefit of the doubt. And I assume that they're busy, which he looked like he was busy. But another part of your job is also to get the people at the counter. It's always weird to me when people do this, like when, and when like employees do this, like this is also a part of your job. I'm not going to evaporate. Um, although I got so in, like, I just got, I have a time limit when these types of things happens. Like I give people the minute of the doubt and I say, okay, maybe they're busy. They're wrapping up with something. Once they get done, um, then they will attend to me. And I feel like you can still do that and still communicate that. And I feel like, like I know, like I do that all the time. And so it kind of calm, not calms. It sounds like they're crazy, but it just, it just lets, it acknowledges the person and it, and just lets them know like what you're doing. And then anyways, none of that happened. And I wasn't, like I said, I have a time limit on these things. I waited there for a good five minutes for no one. That's, I feel like that's kind of a long time for someone to not like acknowledge you. Um, and then I just decided, I was like, I'm leaving this counter and I'm going to go get something else f for, for dinner. Um, and then, uh, something similar happened at Lowe's when I was picking up paint. The lady initially was kind of like, she did come. Okay. To be fair, she did come around and ask me, did I need something? And I told her and I was Sometimes I don't use my words properly. And she just was like, so I can't, I was like, I'm trying, I'm here to get paint. And you know, like I'm looking for these colors and she was kind of like, so what's the question? <laughs> like, and I understood what she, she wasn't being sassy about it, but she just was trying to get to the point. I understand that. Um, so, but then like she, I told her I wanted paint samples and she took the paint and then like walked away. And so I'm standing there kind of like awkwardly looking at her and then looking because I had my baby too I was looking at her and the baby and I because I didn't know like is it going to take long to make the pink samples does she need me to confirm the colors like I didn't know like so I just stood there and then like she struck up a conversation with like a guy I'm a someone she knew I don't know if it was like a coworker who was off that day, but they were like talking. So again, it looked like I was like eavesdropping on their conversation because I was looking at her, but I wasn't. I just was like, do I walk away? Do I go to continue my shopping? And so, but she did come back and she said like, oh, well, the paints are going to take like a couple. She said the paints are mixing right now. And I was like, do I walk away? Do I? She was like, oh, take three minutes. And so, all right, that's fine. I can deal with that. But I just like, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know if. I'm conflicted because I know that like any job where you're dealing with people and this customer service can burn you out. And I understand that at the same time, I don't understand like how you just completely ignore someone who's specifically there to talk to you. And you know this, cause that's a huge part of your, your job. Like I went to a nail salon one time and as soon as you walk in, like literally like the point where you walk in and where there's a desk, like the arrival desk, the check-in desk, or whatever, it's like 10, five feet away. And there were one time I did this and there were 10 people standing at 
this desk. I don't, it looked like a clown car of people. Like I just, I cannot believe how many people are at this desk. And so I sat there cause it looked like it was kind of busy. Um, so I sat there or stood there for a while and like not out of all those 10 people, not one single person said like, Hey, welcome to blah, blah, blah. We'll get with you in a minute. Not a single one. And I stood there with my husband cause I, cause I wanted him to like, like see this nonsense. And so eventually I, like I stood there, I was like, Oh my God, we've been waiting here forever. And then I just, and then like, it just got to a point where I had, I think I was buying like an OPI nail polish or something. And I was like, you know what? I'm leaving. I put that, put it right back on the counter. And I just turned around. Like I have a limit on how long I'm going to wait for you to acknowledge me. And no one did. And I don't think I ever went back to that place. And then I love you as a sign. I love um, um, looking at reviews of the same places. Cause at first I thought it was just me. And then like, I looked on like Yelp and they're like, no, the service there is always crap. Um, the same thing happened. I mean, they, I didn't ask a question, but like, as I was reading the reviews, they're like, you walk in, no one says anything. Like they try to like get you in, get you out. And I'm like, oh my God, that was my experience. But I don't know. Like, I guess my point to this is like, if you're in customer service, just, I feel like just the quicker you acknowledge them, the quicker you get what they need, the quicker they can get out of your face. I guess if that's what you're looking for, I just feel like it's counterproductive to ignore someone when they're coming to see you like this, like they're not going away. So anyways, that's just my PSA for today. <laughs>